speeding and has a charge. Let's see how long it lasts. Terry was looking for you today at Shop Park Parking Lot. <laughs> she knows you're out there somewhere. She knows you're around. Scoping it out. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll she knows it. you've been stalking her. Yeah. Now, every, every move, it's all the cars low jacked, house, every damn thing. She shows me her camera. I pull up the pictures. It's about 15 pictures of her drinking in there. You'll see them on the video later. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And, oh, look at that. There's the rummy. Oh, I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she seems to know everything about booze. Ask her anything about booze, she can answer you. Obscure beers, obscure liquors and wines, all about it. She even knew you can get booze at the court diner. You got the air conditioner on here? No, you want Yeah, it's a little fucking woman here. And I said, yeah, you're not an alky. No, not you. Yeah, she brought the camera because she wanted to take a video of me. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this guy doing? Protesting Obama or is Where? he looking? Somebody decided the road there. Where? Right there decided to squatted down in the bushes. Right there. Oh, shit. Oh, he's a hitchhiker. No, something. He's going okay. westbound 84. Yeah, I'm going to pick up strange hitchhikers on the side of the road. No problem. <laughs> Unarmed. Yeah. Ooh, that sun is brutal. She knows she's gonna get it sooner or later for wine every last week. She's expecting it. Like I'm gonna spring it on her when she's expecting it. I told her I delegate that sort of thing. I give it to the experts. I don't handle it myself. <laughs> hey, you and Scott in a case. Especially Scott, he's got nothing better to do. Yeah. He's unemployed just like her. Well, her niece Kelly works at ShopRite in Kingston. Jesus. Her father is works in produce in the same store. I don't know her hours up there, but I'm sure it'd be easy enough to ascertain. Gotta see if Scott wants to run up there and tell the kid the address to the YouTube account where all Terry's videos are. Oh, Scott, a road trip? You know Scott's in. No, oh, he'll do it. He's probably, he'll probably be up there. The minute the I suggested in. that, she was yelling and screaming, No! No! Don't you dare! Yeah, don't you dare! Yeah, okay. Now you just challenged me, so I'm definitely gonna do it. <laughs> she don't know you, does she? No. Oh my god, she's dumb. The kid's name is Kelly. That's all on the other video, too. And then, she mentioned where the kid worked. I just filed the information, I, I fucking forgot. I would have remembered eventually, but... We're out in a car, and like, okay, I can't just come out and ask her where the kid works. She's gonna get suspicious. So I kind of worked around to assure how she spilled it. Keys to her own destruction. Your head was swiveling around on ball bearings looking at you guys. I told her, I said, I, I, you're not going to tell me when you're sneaking up on us down there. I didn't tell you the last time. That's we right. Coming. I had no idea. So I'm not going to know. She tell Jim, stop, Jim, stop. Don't tell me to stop. I have no control over it. I'm the one person who can't do anything about it. She went and ran her mouth off about you and him. So whatever happens to her now is her own fault. I told her, you're gonna, she's going to be dangling on the fucking wire for a while. It's just what you guys do. Eventually you get tired and move on to some other victim, only to come back to her at some unexpected time, when she least expects it. Jeez, look at this fucking shit. Some trailer lost a big ass tire. Jeez. All over the place. Is that the trailer in front of us? I don't know. Oh, it must yeah, be this one. It's this one up here. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see the tire. I actually forgot you could get booze at the good diner. I forgot all about that. There's a whole rack of booze bottles behind the fucking yeah, check. Can, but then that's not the kind of thing that I would notice walking into a place. I don't think I've ever seen anybody drinking there. I've seen plenty of people eat. I never saw anybody drinking in there and shit. But, uh, of course, most, she, she most knows. Most restaurants won't survive without a liquor. Yeah, that's probably the case. Just didn't occur to me. But, of course, she knew it's all about it. 
Terry knew all about it. I even named the liquor bottles in there. Go, Dick. And she physically assaulted me ten times in the course of the video. Just because I called her tons of fun. And how was that bad? Tons of fun. That was more sustained. Yeah. I mean, it means you're a lot of fun. Tons of fun. Thought that would be a good thing, but no. She thinks it's somehow negative. I don't know why. Well, you called Boris that because he was big and fat. Yeah, I, I wasn't suggesting she was enormous and fat. <laughs> if I was going to do that, I'd call it a Pillsbury Dough Girl. Oh, God. Which she had coming because she called Scott fat. So she struck me. Probably causing some kind of debilitating injury. And she did it on film. Two films, her own camera was running too. It's even stupider. Yeah, I know, she's filming her own crimes. <laughs> Probably from a better angle of perspective. I can't believe she's filming you now. <laughs> Sometimes she can't, you know, on my on mine you can see her reach over and you can hear the impact, you can't always see it. But when she's filming it, she'll be able to see it when she hit me. So that's even better. That's that people's exhibit A. That's funny. Well, she's using a shitty little point and shoot, and the camera got hot. I told her, you've been running everything for 50 minutes, you can't do that with these cameras. They got moving parts in them. And they heat up pretty quickly, you'll burn the damn thing out. That's no good after that. The bloggy it's in this, they're dedicated video cameras. They're made for this. No, point and shoot, they're made to catch a little quick action, five, 10 minutes, whatever it is, real quick, and that's that, shut it off. She didn't matter, use the damn thing either. And they said, you read it? Oh, I didn't read the instruction book. Well, then don't complain, you can't use the camera. That's why they include an instruction book. You can learn yourself to use the damn camera. Started to get more colorful. I'm gonna do some of the leaves at my parents' house today. Yeah. To the woods. Yeah, I got down, down. chop the ones on the old man's lawn for the first time. They're starting to get a little looking around, I gotta cut one tree down. Why, oh, got a bad tree? It's dying and it's leaning uh -oh. towards where the tractors are. Uh oh, you don't need that. I think I'm gonna bring a big red to my house anyway. I wanna, if I don't buy that motor, I gotta at the very least take the carburetor part on it, yeah. and clean it, cause it'll run and all that. Yeah. It dies of gas, you gotta wait a gas. That's you start it up and it'll run for, you know, but once it gets under a load, it'll just come right out. Yeah. So I gotta tinker with that. I wanna buy that motor, but I don't know. He's taking it down to 475. It doesn't have a gas tank, it should, so. Uh, Saving that from your motor? Huh? You saving it that from your motor? Ah, uh, fuck it. I should have saved the whole fucking motor. Stupid. Because this motor came with everything. Yeah. It came with the gas, it came with everything, so I just fucking threw everything away. Completely regret it now. Well, you could probably find the parts on eBay if you needed to. I could. There's a few parts here and there. Or one of the websites dedicated to that shit. They have a few. It's a highly collectible tractor, so it's definitely. That's why I really want to get that motor. Yeah. It's the one spent 500 fucking dollars. Make him an offer, 350. Cash on the barrel. Look and see if it's the best offer. I think it's buying now. He had 525 and found a 475. Which I think I think it's too much, really. I don't really know the market. I would think you can get a brand new one, probably two or three hundred. Yeah, the whole thing though, that this is for the mostly for the collectors. You know, the guys that have tractors that old. I don't think the motor I put on there is that much. Even though the only thing wrong with it, that this crankshaft it's just, on the one I put in, uh -huh. it's not long enough. The other sh shaft going to the fucking clutch. Mm -hmm. The bolt pattern. Was it's a lot newer, different style, different 
material making it up. The original was a cast iron one longer. You know, they don't even make the motor you put on there actually. Racer Stratton doesn't make a flat motor anymore. We're all overhead valve now. So you'll probably be able to sell that one for some good money. And the one he's got is a Kohler. I could have sworn the one I originally had was a Briggs. Cool. Oh, look at that. Every other one I see is fucking is Kohler. So if mine wasn't original, I don't know. Well, it's possible it might have been changed, and we're talking 40 years, 50, 60 years of time. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Is every other one is they're always Kohler. I have to look at the, my manual. To look at the manuals I have. I think they even say Kohler. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm just remembering wrong, but I could have sworn it was a Briggs. Too bad Flash wasn't still alive. He would know. I need have the parts too. The hell is all this shit? They have tag sales all over the place today. Nice weather. Here, that's why, yeah. over here. Oh, yeah. I, when I came in, they were all over 311, Terry Hill. I'm like, what the hell? Is this tag sale day or something? What's going on? My Flash was a friend of the old man's. He had a place upstate. He had all kinds of tractors. Or that guy that was over here. Yeah. On 55, but he died. And the son's what happened to Flash? <laughs> Cancer finally caught up on him. He beat it once, thought he was going to live forever, and then... And this sudden... guy's also got the sickle bar attachment for my tractor. Huh. That, my tractor's supposed to have the sickle bar. I remember when we went down to get it, the guy said he used to have a, the sickle bar attachment. That's what this tractor had. Mine didn't have the mower deck. Uh, the sickle bar attachment. He's not far. He's in New York. He's over on the other side of Middletown or something. Hmm. Save you to ship it anyway. Yeah, the, the, we, we won't ship it to get him oh. taken up. Yeah, that's good. That's a heavy engine. They all want to cast iron, that's for sure. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I spent $500 on this one. What do you think? Call the guy and ask him. No, I think he liked this one. Oh. Too bad Scott's not here. Oh, boy. He'd be in a ship. That light's gonna fuck me. That light's gonna fuck me. And then he goes right through it. You very rarely make this light. Yeah. This is the light that usually gets him right here. Well, whenever that one turns green to go this way, this one turns red. Yeah. That's someone sitting on their time. I love it when he catches this light and it's, it's red. You see him coming up to it, it turns red. Oh boy, he starts carrying on. Well, you've heard, you've heard him do it. Him with fucking lights. I don't get it. At the fucking water, Route 6 and, and, and Simpson when you're going home. Ha, ah, fuck that light, fuck that, I went around it. It's a fucking light. Yeah, it's got it out for you. <laughs> it knows Scott's coming, I'm gonna turn yeah. fucking red. He actually beat it last week. Fucking idiot. Hey, I had no problem last week, he didn't catch it. I didn't catch him, rather. The Chinese guy, he's dead out there somewhere. And what's amazing to me is they can't find this son of a bitch. <laughs> this pudgy middle-aged Chinese guy from the city disappears to the fucking woods. I mean, what? It's not like it's 10 million acres out there. What the fuck? They got an army looking for this guy and they can't find him? 
What he do? Bury himself out There's there? There's a lot of woods out there. Yeah. I don't know where his car was found. And just to one of the park entrance somewhere. Park ranger found it in this end. There's some kind of business disagreement turned violent over Maybe the mafia was squeezing him or something. Who the hell knows? Didn't seem like he was intent on hurting anybody else except the specific people he popped. I know Chinatown, they got trouble with the fucking triads and shit. I was putting a squeeze on people. Maybe finally somebody got pissed off at enough. Sales this month. Well, you know, not including all your limit? My limit? I thought you had 50. You could do 50. No, 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 it's 100. Oh, I thought it was 50 a month. Oh. It's the listings that they limit. It's, I'm allowed to list 100 items a month or $5,000. The, and the 5000 is determined by what I'm listing stuff for. If I list, you know, 50 things and then $50 or whatever. But uh, they just upped it. Now I'm allowed to list to 150 to 10,000. So they heard me bitching, and they upped it a little bit. So I got some room now, some breathing room. But they don't limit how many you can sell, just as long as you don't go over that 100 listings a month or to $5,000, which is just plain stupid. I don't know what the hell that shit's all about. But technically they are just limiting your sales. Yeah, which is limiting their income. Yeah, which is limiting their income, as you know. I did not expect we were going to make 54 sales in a single fucking month. That's a lot. We're packing boxes every damn day. It's finally slowed up now. That's like I want tonight to find someone's bid on 15 different things. I'm okay for a few days of breathing space anyway. I just listed a few things that are probably going to attract attention. I got a really old clock on there, a big one. There's various lights are on there now. Went down to Macy's basement there and fished out the... Uh, 57 Pontiac Chieftain Radio. It looks like it's brand fucking new. He's got a little dungeon room down there filled with antique radios. Now he wants to sell them. I almost try one. We'll see how it sells. If that sells, then, then we'll worry about more. I got enough shit with Kisco. I'm bringing him more crap tomorrow. I don't know what's left down there. But it should be something. He wants to grab a little table that's down there and probably some other little shit. I'm going to give you a few things to bring back for us, too. I got another lawnmower down there. The other one in the basement's got to come back. The one with the motor on it. Richie claims runs. He said his sister used to do the lawnmower, but she hasn't been capable of doing a lawnmower with anything in about five or six years, so it ain't running in a while. How she ever got that thing up and down the basement stairs, I have no idea. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Basement stairs, and they fucking killed me. Never mind. Old lady dragging a lawnmower. Early 80s town car. I just cleaned out 30 cars, 31 cars actually. In the bank by his house. It's clear almost entirely to the burnt house now. Why? Well, they, we needed to get some loads out, and those cars were all shit in there. They were waiting for a while to get to them. And I had a sinkhole. I was down to the very end, and all of a sudden, I felt the machine just drop, one side to the back, boom, like, what the hell? I wasn't moving at the time either, so I knew it was something bad. I said, ah, oh, fuck, don't tell me I just blew a goddamn tire. I didn't even hear it pop. And I get off the machine, turn and look, and the tire's right to the axle. I'm like, holy fuck. Put it in four-wheel drive, put it in first, crawled out of the fucking hole just barely. Luckily, it was only one tire went into it. I don't know why. There's something under there, some kind of a void, something. You know, just 
collapsed right into it. Because it wasn't like a, I was spinning the tires, digging into the ground, it just dropped. Right out from under me. So we decided not to take any more cars in that particular spot for a while. So I figure out what the hell is going on over there. Put a mound of tires over the spot. Can't run there again. These are all cars from the 80s and early 90s. Real shit boxes. Detroit was making some amazingly shitty cars at that time. Oh. All rotted out underneath, everything fucked up. It's just. guy came in today, he did a couple brackets off of a 250 Ford and a 76 Granada. Took him down to the car, open the hood. The shock towers had rusted loose on the side of the car. And the, and the strut, not struts, they have springs. The springs had pushed him into the engine. So he had to do some sawzalling and shit to get in there. And look, and this thing is no frame rails left. The motor is just about sitting on the ground with his K-frame. Separate from the damn car. But he got the most. He said he did not break a single bolt. They all came out. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely couldn't believe it. Wow. Got lucky. Very. Considering the rusted decrepitude of the rest of the car. Damn it, I had a... and I forgot about it. They actually had unsweet tea for once. You have to start painting heat that house again soon, huh? Yep. They're already talking about that. Thinking about shutting the house down. I told you, you may get away with that for a little while, but you can't leave it that way permanently. Year Not for long. Drops. Yeah, you're done because it's going to deteriorate it's, very quickly. It's going to peel everything. Oh, yeah. I've seen all those videos on YouTube. I don't yeah, know. You don't get every drop of water out of that fucking house. Yep. You're going to have frozen pipes in the fucking wall. The guy at work, he bought a house. They supposedly winterized it, uh, and he had fucking cracked heating pipes oh, in the walls. God, and yeah. the fucking thing. better off to antifreeze the pipes, at least the heating pipes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad, because then the, the other pipes you can drain, the heating yeah. pipes are the ones. They're the ones that are very hard to fucking yeah. drain. Especially in a couple story houses. Like mine, I blow the air through it, mm. and I can I fucking cram down. The only thing I have to worry about is right where it sticks out, which is that much. Just, you know, if, only, if, it's, if the pipes are tilted and the water rolls back in the house, it's no big deal. Improved this week. A little. I mean, you can see that a yeah. lot of brushes were taken out. Oh yeah, the trees are trimmed back big time. Most of them. They paved a little bit. They got more money. It's really when they get inside those buildings, they got a lot to do. Huh? You can see that. It's the inside of the buildings that are. Oh, uh, I'm sure they're gonna need a ton of fucking work. Basically, I have to gut them and just. There was a guy here this morning, I don't know why he was in this field with a camera. He was like right in, right in here between the, this tree and the telephone pole. I was like, what the fuck is he taking a picture of? Probably the press, some story on the new school going in. Looks like they were doing some work over there. Yeah. I don't know. So I've seen the pictures of the inside of that place. That's an ugly looking disaster. Oh my god, asbestos city, lead paint. Oof. 
There's been a DOT guy standing out front on six where Scott, the new guy, is building the fucking deli all week because they're working out there, and that's a DOT controlled road there, you know, the state. Scott has to come up with $700 a day to pay the state for that guy's services to stand there and watch what they do. $700. I would flip the fuck out. I wonder why nobody wants to build Jesus. anything around here. His fucking salary is not that much. No, not even close. Sure, not for a single day's work. Not non-work, actually, just in the car watching. Watching what? Though? Yeah, that's <laughs> like, just it. Like you can't come after a week and look and make sure they didn't dig up yeah. the fucking road? I know. It's ridiculous. And then the fucking states are broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dennis Shelley was telling me they may start to pour concrete for the foundation as early as next week, maybe. So. What they do with the uh, ledge? They've been hammering it all week long. Bang, 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 chunk, 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 bang, 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 chunk, 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 Septic. Don't know, but they got a field area roped off of the fields. I hope there's no ledge there. Oh boy, there has to be. There has to be. Although Wayne says that doesn't have to be as deep, so I don't know. No, they only go down a couple feet, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know this. I mean, literally, it's right behind where they just chopped a huge ledge away, so. They're going to run into something. I'm, I'm assuming they perk tested it already. They couldn't have Supposedly, no yeah. Building permit. Yeah, they should have done that already, so. I guess they were able to. See if it's gonna be a liquor store or not. Shelly heard the same rumor about a liquor store, so I don't know. He didn't ask Scott though, so next time I see him, I'll ask him. I don't give a fuck, you got 57 different kinds of whiskey in there, and I do you sell Powerball tickets? <laughs> yes, that's all I care about. Every liquor store is fucking yes. lotto. Every one I've yeah. ever been to has a lotto. Vice goes with vice. Maybe a little cigar section. Get their liquor this. and the vodka lineup tickets never fail. And the one kid burned his liquor store down because he was losing the lineups. <laughs> went into business and put a shop right plaza. It yeah. just it disappeared. I don't know what happened. Well, poof. One day they were closed, there was a sign, you know, they were doing inventory, and then there was nothing. The store was bone empty. It just plain disappeared. I thought they were doing well in there. I always saw people going in and out. And they weren't all buying bottles of ripple or whatever the hell Terry drinks, you know. Let's take kid going supervised on the road. Ah, he's here. There he is. Back from shop right already. She didn't believe me when I said he was there. <laughs> well, she must have believed because her head was swiveling around like. <laughs> I can hear her stomach grumbling from here. <laughs> Brother's new car. Yep. Back in the body shop. Why, he wrecked it already? 
he fucking brought it in for something. He comes back in the, the whole passenger side, the fender and the front uh, bumper. It's all scratched up fucking white paint. How the hell that happened? I don't know. They completely denied it, but they fixed it. Yeah. It tells you something. <laughs> Yeah. You can buy that. Is that car brand new? We bought it used. Oh, that's not too old. You don't want it to look like shit, that's for sure. That's nothing. Uh, did I just drop that damn thing again? I did.